Hello, welcome back to the channel and today I'll be making my famous cherry brownies. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're coming back, thanks for the support. <music> So I'll be breaking the three large eggs now. So right there, that's my three eggs. Then we start to whisk. All right, so now that I have finished whisking my eggs, I'll be adding one tablespoon of vanilla extract You can make it run over if you want more. Then I'll be adding two tablespoon browning, of browning. Browning looking kind of black though. One more. That was a little too much. And then I'll be adding one melted cup of margarine. Then we start to mix. Alright, so now that I've finished with this, I'm going to move on to my dry ingredients. Put this one side. So here I have one and a quarter mixed and, I mean, sifted flour. Then I'm going to add in icing sugar. I'm going to sift that as well. There's still a little bit more in there, so I'm going to put all that in. Alright, so now that I've done that, I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt. Use this instead. And three teaspoons of baking powder. Okay, let me put in the salt first. Chunky parts that are left, you're not supposed to use that. Alright, so now that I've finished with that, I'm gonna add the best thing of all right now in it the Lasco powdered food drink. The chocolate Lasco powdered food drink for all y'all chocolate lovers out there. Alright, so now I'm gonna sift this in. Alright, so now I'm going to mix all these together. So now that I've finished with this, I'll be combining the wet ingredients with the dry ingredients. Since this one's bigger, the wet will go in the dry. So we'll add half of this. Stop. Then we mix it together. Now it should be a little bit thick because right now it's hard for me to mix. And then we're going to add in the rest. We added some off camera so we can add all of this. Now 
that I've finished mixing my butter, I decided that I would add some nice beautiful cherries. So I'm going to do this by hand. And then now I'm going to stir all this in. And now it's time to put them in the baking trays. So now that we've added the mixture to the baking trays, I'll be adding a little garnish on top, some cherries. And since the batter is thick, it will not sink, so this is good. gingerbread man with the buttons so now I'm gonna add these to the oven that has been preheated 350 degrees Fahrenheit so guys this is the finished product it is really moist here's a piece that I cut really moist inside it's beautiful gonna take a bite out of this there are the cherries thank you for watching the whole entire video don't forget to smash that like button subscribe also smash that one and don't forget to turn on post notifications to get notified when we make a new video bye